three reasons why you're not ready for a girlfriend yet or you're not ready for a relationship yet i'm going to share these reasons with you in this video this is very important because it's going to save you from a lot of unnecessary heartbreaks in the future so imagine a situation where you meet someone very lovely I mean, this lady is just everything you've been looking for in a woman. And then once you guys met, you connected almost immediately. You know, the conversations are fantastic. You know, you're just connecting on a deeper level. And all of a sudden, she begins to pull away from you. She doesn't respond to your text messages anymore. Or, you know, seeing her becomes a problem. And she just literally dumps you. And in your mind, you're like, ah, she now want to be this one. You don't be seeing me and you the wrong things, you know, everything they normal, I don't do you anything. You just you just just go like that. I say this one now banji, I've been out in the world this one. But maybe she get out, maybe she even get out safe. Mm -hmm. The reason why she pulled away from you might be because of one or all of the things I'll mention in this video. So if I were you, I would take this piece of content very seriously. Number one, you don't love yourself enough. You don't find happiness from within yourself. I mean, you meet this girl, fine and good. You tell her she's your world, she's everything. Without her, you're dead and forgotten. And it's not wrong to tell a lady all of that. But let it just be that you're saying it like, you know, figuratively. Of course, you like to say nice things and lovely things to a woman to make her feel reassured and, you know, just make her feel loved. But if you truly mean that she's the only thing that makes you happy, that information is very, very huge. There's one thing you need to understand about women. We are receivers. We receive every type of energy. Anything that comes our way, we receive it. You know, we absorb it and we internalize it. And then we decide on what to do with these energies. Okay, so when you meet a lady and you're telling her, ah, you're my source of joy. Without you, I'm dead. I'm forgotten. I'm buried. And you're not happy on your own. You don't have the ability to be happy on your own. If you're not hanging out with your boys, your homeboys, or your guys, if you're not Netflixing, if you're not scrolling on socials, you're not happy. You can't even be on your own for five minutes and be happy and feel content and feel whole, except you're hanging out or except you're with this girl or except you're out there, except you're drinking and all of that, then this becomes very overwhelming for the lady. So when you feel that this lady is the only thing that makes sense in your life, she's the only thing that gives you joy, you don't even find joy from within yourself, it's going to make you very dependent on her and very needy. You're going to seem very clingy. And trust me, no woman wants to be with a man who is too clingy. You're going to bore her out and she would run away. Every day, where you did, where you did, why no time say the good displays, you know, all of those things. It's going to overwhelm her and she would run away. It's only natural for her to behave like that. So this begins with you. Work on your inner mind. Find peace, like I said. Peace, happiness, and joy from within yourself before you look for a relationship. Because if you don't find and look for these things, whatever relationship you enter into is going to like not end well this is not me prophesying doom or no i'm not the agent of doom but this is just a fact it's not always so sweet to the ear number but two because you have no meaning no purpose and direction in life how can you be looking for a relationship when you don't even know the direction of your life this is a very dangerous thing to do Recently, I was listening to a preacher of the word and he says one thing that just hits me so hard. He said that before he became a pastor, he already knew he was going to become a pastor. So when it was time for him to get a wife, he was already looking out for, you know, because he already had it in mind that he's going to become a pastor. He already knew where his life was headed to. So he was looking for that kind of woman who would be able to build the ministry with him. So imagine this is like, this is so deep that when I began to think about it, I'm like, wonderful. Because it's not every girl that wants to be a pastor's wife. It's not every lady that wants to be a pilot's wife or a soldier's wife. So if you know the direction of your life and the purpose for your life, you'll be able to even know what kind of ladies to date. So you don't just date randomly. You just hook up with any girl randomly. And most times this relationship don't even end without strangers being attached. That is when you keep hearing, she has a child for me and so what? She has a child for you. Trust me, you're already connected for life. If except, God forbid, something happens to that child. But if nothing happens to that child, you are already connected for life. So when you find the direction and purpose of your life, you don't just do things randomly. You don't just say, okay, yeah, this girl is beautiful. No matter how beautiful she is, how gorgeous she's looking, if she doesn't fit into the purpose for which you are created and put here on earth, 
you're not going to be compatible. You're not going to find joy and fulfillment in that relationship. So the key thing here is for you to know what direction your life is going. Some people will say, but I don't even know what my purpose for this life is. Does that mean that I'm not going to date? I'm just going to be there and be wasting. Well, the thing is, one thing I know for sure in this life is that most times our purpose is kind of tied to our passion. So naturally, as human beings, we're going to be drawn to our passion. You just find yourself naturally doing a certain kind of thing, you know, naturally being drawn to maybe music or maybe artistry and all of that. Knowing these passions that you have, at least, is even like the beginning phase for you to find out what your purpose is in life. And knowing these passions of yours and following them is even going to like hold you a little bit and make you not just you know wobble along the way and just make decisions that are not going to be beneficial to your life. Everything you do, whatever decision you decide to take, always ask yourself these questions. What does this mean to me? Like, how is this going to better my life and my future? It's very important. As a man, as a king, you can't afford to live your life like that. Because women want men who are leaders. We want men who are supposed to be the head. If you don't even know the direction of your life, how are you going to be the head? How are you going to be a leader? How are you going to be a king in that household? How are you going to lead others when you don't even know yourself? You don't even know where you're going to. You get the point. So it's very, very, in fact, this point is very, very important. So don't just do things because others are doing it. Don't just get laid because others are getting laid, at, you know, having sex and doing all of those things. So you also want to do it. You and them are not the same. Every man has a journey of his own. So realizing that alone is going to help you in this journey of life. Number three signs that show that you're not ready for a relationship yet is because you can't even really take care of yourself. I mean, you lie on your bed from morning till night, scrolling on socials and just wasting away and you want to get a girlfriend in that situation. You can't even eat healthy food. You can't even exercise. I mean, as a young man, what excuse do you have to be overweight? What excuse do you have not to be fit? Like if it's a woman that is pregnant or maybe carrying a child or breastfeeding, these are even different like extreme situations where we can say, okay, a woman cannot exercise or she cannot abstain from a certain kind of food because of course she's carrying a child and she needs to give to that child. But you as a young man, what excuse do you exactly have to just, you know, be out of shape and just don't put yourself together, don't take care of yourself. And then in that situation, you're looking for a girlfriend. You have no business looking for a girlfriend in that situation. Take care of yourself first. This is real talk in here. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I'm not in the business of deceiving anyone. I'm going to tell you the truth. When you take care of yourself, you even become more appealing to the ladies. I mean, you walk around, you don't wash your clothes, you don't even shower well, you know, you have your fingernails all filled with dirt. You can't even take care of yourself and you're looking for a girlfriend. That should be the least thing on your mind. Take care of your mental state. If you know you have issues, try to sort it out. Whatever it is, everything in life, I believe everything in life has a solution. Take care of yourself. When you can't take care of yourself, how will you be able to take care of another person? Women know it when you can't even take care of yourself. I mean, she wants a man who is strong and not weak, someone who is mentally strong, someone who is physically strong, someone who values himself and does not have poor habits. You smoke all day and then when your girlfriend is coming around in the evening, you're using perfume and you know all of those things. She can see through all of that and she knows that you're not taking care of yourself and she's going to run away from you sooner or later. Women need men who are strong, who are agile, who are well, who are whole, mentally strong, emotionally strong, physically strong. So when you can't take care of yourself, don't look for a girlfriend. Look for ways in which you can improve, take care of yourself, become a better person. And trust me, when you eventually go into relationship, you're going to thank yourself for, you know, taking the time to even take care of yourself first before going into that relationship. My name is Wendy Zil. Thank you for watching. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not done so yet and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.